Oh, did you say right here? Today, what I want to talk to you guys about is building your body versus bodybuilding. The reason I bring this up, based on the amount of comments that I get when I'm in the gym or questions that I get from the email sent in, or even from the so-called experts I watch on YouTube or any other websites or any of the fitness channels. I just want to share this with you. There is a big difference between building your body and bodybuilding. The bodybuilding that was started way back in the heyday, let's just say let's let's say back in the twenties, man. Nineteen twenties. Those guys were really into physical culture as far as like really developing their body so that it would be functional, fit, strong, as well as have muscles and look good. What's evolved over the last uh, couple centuries or so is nothing more than a marketing campaign to have young boys and teenage males and ignorant men buy into the philosophy that if you get any of these supplements that they are marketing then your body will turn into uh, what is represented here, which are basically guys who use a lot of steroid and growth hormone and all types of other um, pharmaceuticals that I'm not going to even begin to go into. But what it does is that bodybuilding has turned into a false uh, matrix of a dream, a concept that is not um, attainable. And so what the problem is, is as you get these magazines and you subscribe to them and you read them and you look at all the different routines and, and what they're talking about doing and things like that, you really understand that the modern day bodybuilding is not the same as building your body. Let me separate the two here. So when you're um, a teenage man, I started doing um, bodybuilding and working out when I was like 10 years old because I had older cousins who were into it and things. And so you know, um, I didn't have testosterone flowing through my body. I started to develop and get fit. You know, I can notice myself getting stronger and everything, but I didn't get a lot bigger because I had a, um, I had a blood disease, right? But I followed the, the sound concepts of eating and, and working out and stretching and drinking a lot of water, right? Which was what they, um, subscribe to me. So then I uh, moved on and became 14 uh, for some reason the blood disease in my way and I hit a growth spurt. And so all the years that I had put into bodybuilding prior to so let's say four years prior to that, I just started blocking my body started developing, right? And I'm just sharing this with you because back then uh, we didn't have creatine and whey protein and all of that and we were poor. So what we did was we utilized, uh, it was just called powdered milk. We had the powdered milk to the, <coughs> to the regular milk. And we would therefore increase the protein synthesis. And, uh, you know, we ate a lot of chicken and beef. We weren't really um, into fish and maybe it's like on a Friday or something. We might have some fish. But... Other than that, the staples was like milk, eggs, cheese, fish, I mean, I'm sorry, chicken, steak, a lot of potatoes and rice and bread, you know, salads and vegetables and fruit. And from that and then playing sports, my body developed um, uh, very nicely uh, to a point where it's, um, before I couldn't even make the team, I'm, I'm starting, you know. Starting in, in football and basketball. I didn't really like baseball, but I ran track and I swam. So let me fast forward this to you. Um, 17, I broke my leg playing American football. So then my scholarships were out the window. So then I went ahead and joined the service. 
And when I got to the military, they had a thing called All Army. What that means is if you can uh, win the competitions on the base and to best your fellow servicemen, then you can get on the All Army team where you compete against people in the Navy and Marines, Air Force, or Coast Guard, things of that nature. But what I noticed is when I trained on base, um, we didn't get into all the creatine and uh, steroids and 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 uh, pre-workouts and all that. What we basically did, we had a good solid protein that we used in between our meals. We ate a lot of fruit and vegetables and we ate a lot of really good wholesome food. And we had some very spectacular games, but then when you start doing these competitions, you go into these commercialized gyms. We're practicing building our bodies because in the military you have to be able to run and jump and pull and, and fight and things like that. You have to have endurance as well as strength. As we start going to these gyms here locally, we start noticing the guys, you know, were uh, using all kind of like steroids and, and uh, creatine and different things that. Um, And we thought we're actually foreign, you know. So the point I'm making is, uh, you see a lot of guys in the gym that are, they're juiced up, they're taking stuff. And um, what they're practicing is, is not, it's not bodybuilding. I think what the, the proper name we should call it is pharmaceuticalology. Because when you're taking all these foreign substances into your body with the intent to build muscle, then you're taking your body from um, the regular human animal state that it is naturally into something that's pharmaceutically enhanced. And the point of this video, I'm not here to judge people or even to debate that. The point I'm making is, how is that building your body? Because when you remove the pharmaceuticals, what you have left is an empty shell. Because I've seen guys who take steroids and growth hormone and yes, don't get me wrong, they do become magnificent beasts. Um, the ones that know how to also train and eat properly, because there's no magic bullet. But what I have noticed is when they get off of the juice, or the growth hormone, or whatever they're taking, not only do they fall from grace, but they fall past where they were before. So let's just say they're here, and they start juicing. No, they're, dude, they're, they're, they're off the chart, man. I've seen some guys do some exceptional things. But the problem is, once they get off the juice, it's not what you guys think. Where they're, oh, everybody says once they're on juice, they're like this. Or, they actually fall way beneath where they were before. And that's how I know that this is not bodybuilding because the building of your body that I practice and my students and the people that train smart like me to like make this a lifestyle. We're building our bodies so that in the uh, absence of like protein or amino acids, our bodies are still going to stay big and strong and functional because we have not injected or ingested a bunch of pharmaceuticals that we don't even really know what the long term effects are. So, if you're interested in finding out, uh, more ways to build your body as opposed to uh, falling prey to the marketing called bodybuilding then subscribe to my channel and like my videos and also uh, you know you can leave me some comments below but what I'd also like you to do is to email me at ogsoback971 at gmail.com and let me know what topics you'd like me to cover as far as like really building your body to where you can become uh, what I call a magnificent beast. Until then, uh, OG Silverback out. See you next time.